Hello, I'm Mott Tuman. This is the Science of Art, and today we're going to be talking all about dyes. You might have heard people talk about whether an art supply is pigment-based or dye-based, but what does that really mean? Dyes and pigments are both known as colorants, which is essentially anything that gives color to something else. But the difference between dyes and pigments is that dyes are water-soluble, whereas pigments are not. So as you can see here, we have red dye that's being put into one jar, and then blue pigment that's being poured into the other. You can kind of tell as soon as I put them in that the dye starts to dissolve and create a solution, whereas the pigment likes to just sit on top and never really fully combines with the water. One of the other biggest known differences between dyes and pigments, besides their water solubility, is their light fastness. Dyes are known for being less light fast in general than pigments are. One of the reasons that is the case is because their molecular structure is just completely different. So, I have a balloon and a piece of paper. And these are very, very simplified kind of examples of what the different molecular structures of a pigment versus a dye looks like. This right here is our pigment molecular structure. Imagine all of these circles drawn on here are individual molecules. They like to take the form of a particle, a rounded shape, as opposed to a dye. This piece of paper is our dye. And all of these circles are, again, it's molecules. It likes to take a much flatter, larger surface area than our particles for our pigments typically would. This structural difference is the reason that dyes are so much less light fast than pigments are. You can imagine when UV light is coming down and hitting this particle, it's really only going to be hitting one side of it. All of the molecules that are inside this particle or on the opposite side of it aren't going to be hit with direct UV light, as opposed to a dye, which since it has such a large flat surface area, is going to be hit with the full blunt force of UV radiation, making it a lot more fragile when you're left outside. So even though the molecular differences between a dye and a pigment make it so that dyes are less light fast, it also makes it so dyes are a lot more vibrant. We're only seeing one little side of this pigment, so we're only seeing a tiny bit of its color potential. Whereas with our dye, we're seeing all of the molecules at once, allowing our eyes to pick up on a lot more of the color. There's lots of different fun stuff we can do with dyes, but one of the really exciting things that you can accomplish with dyes that you can't get with pigments is fluorescent paints. Fluorescent pigments do exist, but they're actually just modified dyes. What they do is they take dye and they dissolve it in a plastic or a resin, and then they let that dry and grind it up into a super fine powder so that you can get fluorescent paint, just like these Soho acrylics. Unfortunately, since these paints are dye-based, they are still not light fast, but we really can't get this vibrancy without them being fugitive, so it's kind of a trade-off. One of the other fun things that you can do with dyes that you can't really do with pigments is alcohol markers. We got our art fitting markers here, some papers, and some alcohol inks. Alcohol works as a great medium for carrying dye because it dries really rapidly, leaving only the dye behind. Since dyes form an actual solution with alcohol, instead of just sitting in it like a pigment would, it can create really smooth, crisp washes of color. That coupled with its super fast drying time is what allows it to create such clean, crisp, smooth gradients. The other thing we have here is alcohol ink, which is essentially the same thing that's in this marker, just a lot more of it. One of the other things that makes dye work so well with alcohol is that alcohol has a much weaker surface tension than water does, which means if I pour out this alcohol ink here, you can see how quickly it disperses and spreads out and gets that really nice flowy effect that a water-based product wouldn't get. For comparison, this is another dye solution that's water-based instead of alcohol-based. And you can see just how much it kind of likes to hold together because it has such a stronger surface tension than the alcohol does. While dye-based products don't have the same level of light fastness as pigment-based products do, they have other traits that really can't be matched by pigments. Their level of vibrancy and solubility are things that pigments can't replicate. Oh, oh. Katie. Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to get up here. <laughs> and they dissolve them. This still has the packaging on it. 